You're welcome again to another After Effect tutorial. And today, I'm going to show you something exciting. I want to show you how you can create an exciting logo animation like this one. So support me on this one. Hit like on this video. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Then come back. Let's get started on this one. Now in After Effects, I am starting with a new composition of 8 second duration. You can use any length if you like. Then I created a new background and added a color to it, a simple solid layer. Now I'm going to go to where I have my logo and import the logo into Adobe After Effects. Make sure you select composition as the default setting and then preserve document size and then hit OK. This is going to allow you import the logo in various layers the way they were designed in Illustrator. Then you see that a new composition has been added to your project manager window and a folder. So select all the files in the folder and drag them into your composition timeline. By the way, I got this logo from freepeak.com. I am not affiliated to them, nor am I benefiting from your visit to their website, but I find the website very useful lately, and I've been using them, so I decided to start recommending them to you. So once you have your logo like this, we need to arrange them so that they will look properly arranged in the timeline. You can see it is a simple, pretty, fruity logo. Very beautiful. So now select the ellipse tool. Make sure no layer is selected. We're going to draw a simple circle that is a little bit larger than the white circle at the center of the logo. So select, make sure your logo, uh, your circle is perfect by holding down the shift key and the control key while drawing that. So. Select the pen tool again, double click on the anchor tool to center the anchor point. Select the logo and then align it to center. We're going to select the same cycle again and move it below the white cycle at the middle of the logo in the layer hierarchy. I'm going to duplicate the shape layer and I will change the color to the bright yellow in the logo. Now I'm going to go to the bottom shape layer and expand the content so that I'll go to the transform ellipse and then increase the scale a bit so that I can have it a bit larger than the yellow one above it. So something like this is beautiful. Rename your layers to keep everything organized. Now select the two shape layer and the white circle at the middle of the logo. If you are not comfortable seeing them like this, you can hide the rest uh, part of the logo. But for me, I'm going to hide the bottom one and then the top yellow. I'm going to expand my timeline. I'm going to zoom in. So I'll set my time indicator to 15 frames only. Then hit S on your keyboard to reveal the scale property. Then set a keyframe for the scale. Then go to zero and change the values of the scale to zero. Select all the three keyframes. Hit F now on your keyboard to easy ease. Then go into the graph editor and edit the speed graph like this one. I'm going to offset the layers five frames away from each other. So I'm going to offset this one to about five frames and also offset this one to 10 frames. Now, if you play back, you're gonna have this. Beautiful. I'm gonna go up and select all the fruit layer and do the same thing. Move your time indicator again to 15 frame, hit S on your keyboard, then set a scale. Don't ask me why I didn't do it all together. I feel this is better explained. Then hit zero for the value on zero. Then select the keyframes again. Hit F now on your keyboard to easy ease. Go into the graph editor again and edit your speed graph. 
I'm gonna still offset them again, five frame each apart from each other. So if you play back now, this is what you have. Beautiful. Now select the leaf layer individually. You're gonna start hiding it so that you know which one is selected. Hit Y on your keyboard. We're gonna move the anchor point to the tip, bottom tip of the leaves for each of the leaves. Select all three layers. Hit S on your keyboard to reveal the scale property. Then I'm going to go to 15 frames again forward in time and set a keyframe for the scale. And I'm go back to zero and change the value of the scale to zero. Make sure while doing this, all the layers are selected so that once you make any change to one, it will apply to other layers. So move your time indicator to the middle somewhere around 10 frames and scale out the leaves. Make sure you scale out in this proportion or to whatever proportion you like. Now select all the keyframes. Hit F9 to easy ease. Now I'm gonna offset all of these by five frame each like I have done before. Then select the three layers and move it five frames away. Beautiful. So if you preview this now, this is what you're gonna have. Beautiful, simple, right? So let's proceed to animate other parts of the logo. Scroll down to the bottom of the layer hierarchy, select the purple vector layer. Then move your time indicator to 15 frames again, forward in time, hit S on your keyboard to reveal the scale property. Of course, unhide it first so that it will show. You can pull in for better visibility. Beautiful. So now hit S on your keyboard, set a keyframe at 15 frame forward in time. Then move back to zero and set the value of the scale to zero. Select all the keyframes again. Hit F now on your keyboard to easy ease. Go into your graph editor and edit the speed graph like you have always done with others. We're gonna offset this very particular one to about 19 frames forward in time. About this point. So preview, let's see. Beautiful. Now select the yellow shape layer. Hit S on your keyboard to reveal the scale keyframes. Move your time indicator to about when the other cycle is almost out. That is slightly after one second. Then scale the yellow layer until it's about the size of the purple. Beautiful. Now come back a bit right at this point Copy this keyframe, Control C on your keyboard and Control V to paste it to where your time indicator is. Now, if you play back, you see that you have this, the two colors scaling up. So select the same layer, Control D on your keyboard to duplicate it, hit U to reveal the keyframes. I'm gonna delete these first two keyframes. Then I'm gonna cut this down. I will come here at this point where the cycle yellow starts scaling up. I will select the bottom yellow layer, Control Shift D on your keyboard to cut that apart. I'm gonna offset this top one a little. Go to the track mat settings right here for the bottom one and set it to alpha inverted. If you play this now, you see that while this is scaling up, it is also going off like a bubble. Now select this same layer, duplicate it again, and then move it to the bottom on top of the vector layer shape. The, what you're gonna do now is to unhide the vector layer shape because if you look at it, we have the shape layer for the yellow and we have a vector layer, the illustrator file for the yellow. We're gonna select the vector yellow layer and set the track mat to alpha mat. This is what you have, but I'm gonna offset this a bit backwards so that it will happen at different time.
So what I'm going to do now, if you look at it at this point, you see that this very particular purple layer is still covering the bottom layer. Of course, I'm going to hit S on the keyboard so that I will scale this up a bit first. Beautiful. Then I'll select both layers and move it on top of the purple layer right here so that we'll no longer see that once the half cycle layer is scaled up. So if I preview now, you understand what I'm talking about. Beautiful. We're going to do something. This half vector cycle layer, the yellow part of the logo, I'm going to hit Ctrl D on my keyboard again to duplicate it one more time. Then I'm going to set the track mat to none. Then I'll move it above the text layer. I'm going to duplicate it one more time. I'll hit R on my keyboard to rotate it negative 180. So now I have this. I'm going to move one of the yellow directly on top of the upper text layer. I'm going to select the upper text layer and set the track mat to alpha mat. Then I'll also select the lower text layer and set the track mat to alpha tra uh, the other layer. So this will help us reveal the text individually. So I'm going to go to about this point forward in time, about three seconds forward in time, I'll select the lower text layer and the top text layer, hit R on my keyboard to set a keyframe for the rotation. Then I will come back right here to somewhere around here, about 15 frames after one second, and then rotate it like this. Until I can no longer see the text, I will select all the keyframe, hit F9 on my keyboard to easy ease. I will go into the graph editor again and edit the speed graph like this. Feel free to choose your pattern for the speed graph. Experiment and see what the result might be. Beautiful. Right click on your timeline now, go to new and create a new null object. Move the anchor point to the center and then align it to center as well. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to rename this individual null object. I will rename one to the fruit controller and I will rename one to the other part of the logo control. Select this very particular controller and move it below all other fruit layers. And then select all the leaf layer and the fruit layers and make it a child of the fruit controller layer. And also select every other element, of course, below it except the background and make it a child of the shape controller. Select the shape controller and select the fruit controller, hit R on your keyboard to reveal the rotation property. So I'm going to find where the entire logo has finished revealing. That is this point and set a keyframe for the rotation. So I'm going to deselect the individual controller. I'm going to come here right at this point where the text starts revealing and I will rotate it clockwise. So I will select the fruit controller and rotate it counterclockwise like this. I will also select the keyframes and then hit F9 on my keyboard to easy ease them. So let's preview what we have already. Beautiful. So this is all it is, but there are other elements you can see in the beginning of the example logo animation. So you can create shapes to pop out right here. So let me show you how you can quickly do that. Just hit Ctrl N on your keyboard to create a new composition. You can name this 
uh, shapes and then hit OK. Let's toggle the transparency right here so that we can see what we are doing. So you pick the ellipse tool. You're going to pick the ellipse tool and just create a simple circle layer at the center of your composition. Then align it to center. Change the fill to none. And set its true color. Whatever color you like right about this time is also okay. I'm going to go with something purple or yellow like we have in the logo. At 10 frame. I'll set a keyframe for the scale and set this to zero. I'll highlight the keyframe and ease, ease them. I'll bring the time indicator to the last keyframe. Hold shift and T on your keyboard to reveal the opacity. Then you're gonna also set a keyframe for the opacity, come back to zero and drop the opacity to zero. So now you have this. Hold shift P on my keyboard to reveal the position property. I'll come back to zero and set a keyframe for position. Then I'll go to 15 frame forward in time and move it up. I'll just move it up like this. So if I play back this now, you have this, beautiful. But this point right here is too quick. So I'm gonna scale this back. Then I'll edit the speed graph. Then I will create an opacity right here. I will create a keyframe for the opacity and move it backward. And at this point again, I will make the opacity zero. Of course, I will also add a keyframe for the scale. I will copy this last keyframe for the scale and paste it, then move it backward. I want to scale this a bit to 120. So if you play back now, this is what you're going to have. Beautiful. Feel free to adjust the speed to whatever pleases your eye. So what I did was to duplicate this several times, then change each of them position, then introduce other shapes into each of this layer. And I have the, the pop-up effect on the logo. So I added the composition to the timeline. I'm going to shift it and align it to where everything is popping up right here. So, and now you have this. So, but if you don't have time, because this could be time consuming, if you don't have time to do this, I have a suggestion for you. You'll find link in the description to download this uh, graphic pack extension. It is free from AE Juice. You can go there. They have some paid version and they have some other stuffs right in there that you can use. A little disclaimer here, the links below is an affiliate link. So if you click on this and get all this explosion that you can use on your logo, it will actually, this will actually add beauty and maturity to your logo animation. If you go to AE Juice or Evanto, you get these packs and then you can apply it to whatever animation you do. This will speed up a great deal your workflow in Adobe After Effects. But if you have all the time, you can create it the way I have shown you. It basically, the same principle apply to all this explosion and pops up. So if you have any question, you can leave a comment below and I will do you good to answer all your questions. I don't mind if I need to make a video to answer you. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership. Whatever way you want to support me with, even if you share the video, that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.